Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 383. That is, in which level of software testing UX is tested more? Let me answer. So in which level of software testing UX is tested more? UX means user experience. That is, uh, in the presentation layer of the application, we have UI and UX. UI means user interface, okay? how you are interacting with the uh, graphical user interface elements on the application that, that falls into UX guys, a UI case, okay? But UX means experience, okay? It deals with the experience of the user, like how the user is experiencing the presentation layer, okay? Whether the user is uh, like, uh, according to the psychology of the end users who are going to use the application, whether the application is presenting all the elements on the pages well or not, the order or the place at which the elements on the page are properly ordered, the color combinations, okay, the look and feel of the application, whether the application is driving the uh, end users in a proper way because of all this uh, organizing of the elements or the presentation of the elements with different colors and uh, the, you know, right colors and all those stuff. Okay, that falls into user experience case, okay? UI means user interface, the way in which you are interacting with the element, uh, the HTML code, CSS code that you write, but UX means, it's a psychology. Psychologically, which color suits that particular button, okay? End users are liking which color of the button, okay? If you put orange color, then uh, whether the users are able to uh, focus on that element or not. For example, if I take you to this particular page, guys, Amazon.com, okay? There are several elements on this page, guys, okay? Uh, which are built using the UI, okay? The, you, you can call this as a UI element, okay? HTML, CSS are used for building this element. That's okay. But... Coming to user experience, it deals with the experience, okay? Uh, user experience, how the user is going to experience this particular UI element, that, that layer, guys, okay? That thing of the presentation layer, okay? According to the psychology of the users, uh, which color will, you see if it is a dark red color, okay? A very dark red color, what the users will feel, okay? Why this, uh, the application doesn't look good for them because dark red color does, no one likes dark red color here, right? Right? They don't want to click on this uh, search button if this color, background color is in a dark red color, in red color, okay? Uh, like our uh, red color, okay? We don't like that, okay? So pleasant colors should be there, okay? Which uh, users should feel uh, experience should, you see Amazon logo has this orange. So what they have done to improve the user experience, to uh, improve their brand value at the same time, they, uh, whatever the important elements on this page, right? Uh, they they gave the color as orange color background. Here you see for the cart item, how many items are there in the cart? Only the items in the cart. You see remaining is in white and the other one is in orange color. Okay, if one element is added to the cart. You see the focal focus items are provided in orange color here. This is what is called as experience, guys. Here, it's not about building this UI elements. It's all about like how the user is going to experience these elements on the page and whether this focus of the user is being taken or not, does the user feel any disturbance while looking at this page? All this comes into user experience. Hope you got an idea what exactly user experience is, but in which layer or in which level of the software testing, okay, in which level of the software testing, UX, that is user experience of the presentation layer of the application is tested more. The simple and straightforward answer for this question is in acceptance testing lay level of the software testing. There are different levels of software testing. The last level of software testing is acceptance testing. The acceptance testing level, you can also call it as user acceptance testing level of software testing. The UX of the application page is tested more, okay? There are four levels of software testing, guys. The first two levels are unit testing, integration testing. These two levels, uh, they fall into the white box testing category where the developers will be performing the, most of the time the developers will be performing the unit testing and integration testing, where the unit piece of the code or integrated pieces of the unit code uh, will be tested uh, at the code level by the developers, okay? By the developers will do this, okay? Coming to the system testing, once this unit testing and integration testing is done, once the entire application is integrated together, okay, all the components of the application are integrated as a complete application, the complete application will be built uh, built and given to the testers for testing. Like a uh, built means uh, uh, in the exe file format, if it is a desktop application, it is a .exe file for Windows. Or if it is a web application, the URL of the application will be given to the testers for testing like that, okay? Once the uh, testers will receive this URL or exe file or APK file, if it gets a mobile application, right? Okay, once there is one the software tester, they will perform the system testing in this layer, in this level, uh, in this level. 
software testers will perform the system testing where they will be testing the entire application as a whole. Okay. Using the user interface uh, of the software, the code will be running in the background. Guys, this falls into the black box testing category. Okay, the software testers will not be able to see the code uh, that is written for building this application. Okay, so but here main point is uh, main point the software testers will focus in system testing is whether the application that is developed by the developers is developed according to the client given or specified requirements or not. Okay, requirements are given more focus and UX. You are uh, UX uh, and the client uh, need, uh, user end user needs and expectations. Okay, UX and end user needs and expectations are given less priority in this case. The, the software testers will give some priority to UX and uh, end users needs and expectations along with the client given requirements or specifications. But the main focus will be on the client given requirements or specifications rather than on UX or user end user needs and expectations. Okay, but coming to the last level of software testing that is acceptance testing or user acceptance testing. The more focus, okay, the ultimate focus will be given to the end user needs and expectations indirectly. UX also will be tested more here in the last level of so here software testers will not be performing the acceptance testing. Okay, in acceptance testing, software testers are not performing this acceptance testing. Rather, who is performing? I'll explain. Okay, whoever is performing the acceptance testing, the UX is taken into consideration, user needs and expectations are taken into consideration, requirements are given less priority over. Uh, user needs and expectations and UX of the application. Okay, here UX is tested more in acceptance testing. If uh, to understand who is performing the acceptance acceptance testing, that is the last level of the software testing. We have to divide the user acceptance testing or acceptance testing into two types. That is alpha testing and beta testing. Alpha testing is generally done by the client side business people who has a good knowledge of the uh, business knowledge of the application and who generally interact with the end users or customers. Okay, real customers. Such kind of people will come up with a checklist. The client side business people will come up with a check checklist of you, what are the required uh, user needs and experience, uh, user needs and expectations of the end users, and what is the user experience uh, that uh, end users are expecting. Such kind of checklist they will come up and they will travel to the developer site and uh, where the developers are actually developing the software. They'll they'll go to the developers and uh, they will uh, uh, you know right make the developers uh, develop the software and modify the software. Okay, which is already system testing is done and completed uh, the st stable software. What they will do is they'll ask the developers to do the modifications according to the user needs and expectations and user experience. Okay, that is alpha testing guys. Once alpha testing is done till the acceptance testing will not be over. Next level of acceptance testing that beta testing will be done where the client the company behind this software. Okay, who is developing uh, who is getting this software developed right. Will be releasing the software into the market. Okay, will be releasing the software into the market, not with an intention of uh, selling purpose, rather to indirectly collect the uh, feedback from the users or customers. Okay, uh, as a beta release, they will release instead of uh, this final before final release happen. As a beta release, they will release the software into the market and uh, indirectly while the end users are using using the analytics or whatever is by interacting with them or by collecting the feedback in different forms or forums, whatever that is. They will collect a lot of feedback from the real end users and customers. Okay, and they will collect the feedback. Uh, the feedback will contain user needs and expectations and user experience related uh, things will be there. Uh, those feedback will be incorporated into the software with the help of developers and testers will be testing them. Okay, so here end users will be performing the beta testing indirectly, whereas alpha testing clients and business people will be performing the uh, acceptance testing indirectly. Okay, testing indirectly. Okay, fine. So ultimately, just to conclude, guys, in which level of software testing UX is uh, tested more? Acceptance testing, that is user acceptance testing level of software testing. Uh, this acceptance testing or uh, UX is tested more, guys. Okay. So hope, guys, you got the answer for this question. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.